yeah so my solenoid server is started okay this is my mobile phone in the mobile phone i have this all the apps which are installed right the reason why i have opened this i'll tell you right now as soon as i run the program over here with the correct obviously the app id which i retrieved okay so as soon as i run this you will see that in the phone hold on you will see somewhere at the bottom yeah you will see the solenoid server installing and the app launching right so the solenoid server it installs inside your phone first okay and then it also in installs the app in the phone right you see the solenoid server which is there okay and this is solenoid test app which gets installed in your phone right both the things are there in the phone and both the things are having the same uh, you can say the same certificate right i can uninstall it and run it again or you can simply run it again as well now suppose you are testing an application on the phone and you download the application from the google play store right for example an application like skype right you download skype from the google play store and skype you install it on your phone and after that you actually uh launch skype right you launch skype you install skype and you launch it and after that you extract the apk of skype right you extract the apk of skype and you keep it somewhere over here and you start the server obviously that apk would be resigned again okay and when you run the program what will happen is that when you try to execute skype through selenroid okay what what will happen is that skype will already be there in the phone right i'll explain you with that diagram right this is your phone oh, sorry 